Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Better go earn our pathetic wages. This guy was willing to rob his own mother after I sweated him. I say we bust in there and find a goddamn effort. I don't care. I don't go in for letting Rimsky, you Rimsky O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. Hey, look, look. Do this mean I look my life? I think his name is Phelps. I read about him in the paper. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. That's correct. I've been in this job 20 years. I never fired my gun. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. The car's down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy.
Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it any street value. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Clear this area immediately. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks for your help. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. 
always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. 
A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thank you. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. I bet Abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. I bet Abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Hey, 
which wiseacre used the half inch and didn't replace it. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. No good. We need diplomatic plates. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Steven bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. Car 11K, car 11K, come in. Car 11King responding. Go ahead, KGPL.
Hey, that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Here he is, apartment three. Yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you? Souvenirs are a dumb move. Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. What do you want? Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy.
Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Maybe check out back, too. This punk has something stashed somewhere. I know it. Diplomatic license plates.
It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. You came to me, officer. You could at least listen. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on first and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. That's the cop from the newspaper. Is our boy, forget the others.
thought it was our boy. Forget the other. Take this guy out. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car! You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department.